We're getting a new sense today of just kind, what kind of impact President Trump's trade war with China has had on the U.S. economy. The president said boosting import tariffs would help protect U.S. manufacturers, but economists at the Fed say they had the opposite effect. They led to fewer manufacturing jobs and an increase in producer prices. Yahoo Finance senior columnist Rick Newman is here with more. Rick, some pretty wonky data, and I think I'm still trying to digest this paper put out by the Fed. What these economists tried to do uh, that others have not done yet is look at the total effect of the tariffs. So you had uh, the tariffs on imports, so raising the cost of imports, but then you had retaliatory uh, measures by China. So they're trying to put it all together and figure out uh, what the net effect is here, and it's generally uh, a mild negative. Uh, they found, as you pointed out, uh, employment, uh, employment in manufacturing went down a little bit on account of the tariffs uh, and pr uh, prices for manufacturers went up. That's not what you want. I mean, that's, in other words, it actually harmed the manufacturing sector. And we have, in fact, seen a slowdown in manufacturing in the last couple of quarters that looks almost like a mild recession in manufacturing. So the Trump, uh, prote Trump's protectionist policies are not doing what he wanted them to do. To play devil's advocate, though, it wasn't that bad. I think the manufacturing employment down about 1.4 percent, producer prices up 4.1 it could have been worse? Sure, um, but why would you do anything that's even a modest negative? I mean, uh, you know, we have economic growth of around 2%. That's not great. Trump said he was gonna get economic growth to 3%, maybe even 4%. He's not, he's actually harming his own uh, economic record here with, uh, by, you know, he's taken a couple tenths of a percentage point off of GDP growth. Uh, and he needs to make the case that this is working, you know, as he's running for re-election, and it's a tough sell. Uh, Rick, uh, these are some of the industries that the report said were impacted by those tariffs. Appliances, sawmills, motor vehicles. I see this. This is Trump's base. Uh, it is, and let's add farmers to that list. I mean, so farmers have, uh, they're not dealing with tariffs on, import, uh, on imports as much as they've lost access to the Chinese market. So, uh, you know, we do have this so-called phase one trade deal uh, in the offing. I'm skeptical. We don't even know what's in the phase one trade deal, and it's been promised for uh, more than two months now. We haven't seen it. Uh, but Trump is going to be touting this as the salvation for farmers and, you know, the biggest trade he already has, this giant trade deal we have. Uh, I'm not so sure. And by the way, one of the things Trump did say he was going to do, which has clearly not happened, is bring jobs back from China. So his idea was protect U.S. industries, uh, which would create more of an incentive just to manufacture stuff here because you're making it more, more expensive to import this stuff to the country. It just hasn't happened. There's been some moving around, but the jo if jobs have left China, they have not come here. They've gone to Vietnam, Thailand, India, Mexico. Uh, so all it has done is kind of scramble a lot of corporate supply chains. All right, Rick Newman, thank you. Sure. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.